Hello there, everybody. This is Ryan from Stromboli the Games, and I am back. I missed last, last week's episode of Star Maid because, well, school gets in the way of a lot of things. And uh, you may have noticed, if you've been watching my other Star Maid videos, that the textures look different. And that's because it was pointed out to me that having your texture pack set to realistic is really stupid at this point, because the most of those textures are placeholders. So as a result, most of the textures actually look better on basic. And things like these factory enhancers and this advanced factory block were just like black plain blocks, and that is not okay. But, yes, I have learned quite a bit about the game since we started, and, um, yeah, this, um, since I added more factory enhancers, I needed some extra power, so I just added this on really quick. So, just ignore that. I have a new salvager ship, because the last one had about half of it melted off, because I got too close to a star. And, as you can see, I have cannon barrels, and I have salvager modules. Now, I have the, um... Actually, I'll just hop in and show you guys. There. First, let's get into space. I think I'm in space now. Am I in space now? I'm in space now. Okay. Caps lock. I have an equal number of cannon barrels and salvage modules. The ratio is one to one. Now, what that means is if we go into this we have a 100% effect of, because we slaved the cannon mod, the cannon computer to the salvage computer, and what this 100% effect is, is fire rate. So you know how normally when you uh, are mining, your salvagers will have to stop and recharge? With 100% efficiency, you can continuously mine. If you see the little toolbar on the bottom there, it's spinning around, but there is no downtime with the mining. Now, what that means is, um, I think it's pretty obvious. I don't think I really have to spell out what, the, what it means. But it, if I have to, I'm going to say it anyway. It will make sh make it much more efficient because you're continuously mining. And you don't have to worry about any silly things like recharge time, wasting your time as you're just sitting there twiddling your thumbs and doing nothing. So, here I am mining again. Let's go up a little bit further into space and see what we got going on up there. So that's one thing I learned about how to more properly uh, merge two different blocks to get a completely different effect. Uh, da, 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 you saw nothing. In the navigation menu, it's going to be a surprise. Caesar Salad. Caesar Salad Station. It's going to be a station, and it is quite green, hence the name Caesar Salad. Salad. The salad part. So, the basic plan for this station is... Stop moving. Stop moving, station. I know what's going on. The sector hasn't switched. I'm still in 426. This is the sector over from the planet. This is confusing. Let me fix this really quick. I'll bring you guys right back. Hold on. Alright, so that little situation has been resolved. So here we have the core of the station. I'm just going to pull in over here. I had to build a new little ship, because it, just in case something happened, I won't really care if I lose this little guy. But, actually, I'm going to place a gravity unit. Gravity, there we go. Alright. This is the reactor room. It's, um, well, it has a lot of stuff in it, and you know what? It would probably be better if I showed you guys... Where's, oh, that's right, the build blocks are out here. Herp derp. Build block. And then I can just fly around inside of this. But basically that's all this is here. It is just one giant reactor laid out in such a way to uh, help maximize the effectiveness of it. And then this, the, the gaps, we have the power capacitors and um, some shield rechargers and shield capacitors to give the station some shielding for when the pirates attack. It's all fun and games until the pirates attack. Gotta watch out for dumb pirates. But yeah, this is going to be kind of the focus of the next several videos, I'm sure. Um, I'm going to give you the overall layout that we have in mind right now. Me and Lord Fury. He hasn't been in any of my videos yet, but he probably will be pretty soon. 
But here we have, this is going to be the core of the station, and um, there's going to be spokes poking out in probably four directions, and there's just going to be circular pathways, and it's just going to be a ring system with walkways interconnecting it. It's nothing too fancy. It's, um, I think it'll look pretty nice when it's done, actually. And the purpose of it, which is, um, well, there's a shop right freaking there. And I, my planetary base is actually right there. I can see it on the surface. So this is going to be a staging area for all of the ore or materials that I want to sell. Or maybe I'll process it planet side and then ship it up here. Or maybe I'll process it all up here and then sh have someone ship it to the shop right there. I don't really know. That's kind of a work in progress, the whole plan. But that's basically what this is going to be for. Um, I think there might be a pirate base nearby. I'm not sure. I guess I can look. I don't really want to deal with that crap right now. There's all sorts of undiscovered stations. Ah. 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 Planet Core. Station Derelict. Ooh, a Derelict Station. That might, might be worth checking out. But, yeah. So maybe there isn't a pirate station nearby. But I'm going to see if I can increase the range. But either way, this is going to be a badass station, and if you guys want to be part of it, you should totally let me know. Now, I really don't have anything else planned for this video in particular. I just wanted to uh, give you a roadmap as to where things are going. We spent a fair amount of time uh, gathering resources and producing things for this. We have um, a decent store of materials in the chest here, which I'm actually going to add to it a little bit. So, yeah, it's looking good. It's starting to take shape a little bit. I don't think it'll suck for much longer. And, yeah. If you guys have any suggestions, things you want to see added to the station, maybe you just have a completely new idea for a station, like a giant rubber duck ship station thing that shoots like missiles out of its butt. I don't know. Let us know. And we can see if uh, we can build something that will please your palate. And until next time, this is Ryan from Stromboli Games, signing off.